was a close call. Well, that boy almost didn't wake up in time. Where are the smoke detectors in this house? Well, well that's it. There aren't any smoke detectors here. Oh, hello, kids. I'm Detector Casey, and I work for your fire department. It's my job to stay on the lookout for fire, for smoke, and to warn people of the danger. You know, every home should have just one of me hanging around, <laughs> sniffing for trouble. Why, if you didn't have me on the lookout, you'd be all alone in your house at night. You might never know if fire or smoke are coming. Every home has got to have at least one smoke detector on the lookout at all times. But, uh, but what about this house? Why, there aren't any smoke detectors here. Hmm. Well, we can fix that problem. Hmm. A good night's work. Well, better get back on patrol. I'll see you again. I tell you, we've got to get rid of this Detector Casey guy. Yes, he's spoiling everything for us. What can we do to destroy that snooping sniffer forever? We must get his nose out of our business once and for all. Hey, guys. What's got you so upset? Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? some important things I want to share with you today. You know, firefighters aren't the only ones that can fight fire. That's right. There's lots of things that each of us can do to help make life safer from fire. For instance, who here can tell me the correct thing to do if we should ever get fire on our clothes? Who knows the correct answer? Well, how about you, young man? Why don't you come on up here and help Detector Casey? Why, what might your name be, sir? Jason. Jason, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jason. All right, Jason, thanks for coming out today. Do you know the correct thing to do should you ever get fire on your clothes? Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. You wouldn't want to get up and take off running? No. 
Very good. You want to stop, drop down to the ground, and roll. Now, do you think you could show us and everyone at home the correct way to do this? Yes. Okay, well, let's practice it. Stop, don't run, drop down to the ground, cover your face, very good, and roll back and forth, back and forth. Excellent, Jason. Oh, give me 10 there, bud. Way to go. All right, you're pretty good at that. Well, let me ask you this. What if we should find ourselves trapped in a smoke-filled building? We know that that smoke starts up high in the room and begins to work its way down. Now, we know we've got to get out of that building. We can't hide in there. We can't go in a closet. We can't hide under the bed, can we? We got to get out of that house. Now, what's the correct way to get out? Should we just stand up in the smoke and <coughs> try to <coughs> make our way to the exit door? No, we're all low. Crawl low, down below the smoke. Absolutely, that's the correct answer. Well, could you practice crawling low below the smoke? And we say we crawl towards the door here, the first exit way out. Okay, good job, crawling down low. Now, we made it to the door, but we wanna be sure that there's no fire on the other side of that door, don't we? There could be a fire out there. Now, what do you suppose we should do? Feel it with the back of your hand, right. Now, do we open the door if it's hot? Not. Do we open the door if it's hot? Not. Not, that's right. If the door is hot, we can't open it. So, how are we gonna get out of this house, Jason? Crawl to the window. Crawl to the window, did you guys hear that? Crawl to the window, our second way out. Well, that's right, that reminds me of a saying that Detector Casey uses. Let me teach it to you, Jason. Stay low have two ways to go. Stay low, have two ways to go. Stay low, have two ways to go. Everybody, stay low, have two ways to go. Stay low, have two ways to go. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna crawl over here to our window and go out our own bedroom window. Well, Jason, this is all part of a home fire escape plan and a plan is something that we've got to practice. We've got to know how to get out of our house, how to crawl low below the smoke, and have those two ways out. We've got to know what to do before it happens to you. Can you say that with me? Know, know what, what to do, do before, before it, it happens, happens to you. you. Now, everybody at home, know what, what to do before it happens to you. Know what to do before it happens to you. Excellent, all right. Jason, for helping me out today, I'm going to give you a Detector Casey Super Detector badge to take home with you. Thanks for your help today, man. You're a really good person to help. Thanks. Thank All right. Wow. Now, finally, kids, it's very, very important that each home have at least one of me just hanging around, <laughs> sniffing for trouble. But remember, I am no good unless I have a fresh battery inside me. And to teach us the importance of fresh batteries and to show us how to test those batteries, I want to introduce you now to a new friend of mine. I've just met him. His name is Mr. Duraretti Battery. So I'm gonna bring him on out now. Come on out, Mr. Duraretti. Hello, hello, Detector Casey. Well, hello, thanks for coming. Show us how to Boys test. Boys and girls, to test the detector, just press down the testing button and hold it for a few seconds. If the battery is bad, it won't make a sound. If it is good, you will hear something like this. You see, kids, it all depends on the battery. Tracy, you're all set. Well, thank you, Mr. Duraretti. Thanks for the help today. Now, finally, kids, I wanted to... Oh, gosh, kids. I don't know what's come over me. I suddenly feel weak and run down. I just don't seem to have any energy. I, I can't imagine... Relax, Casey. Maybe you've been working too hard. Why don't you 
step over here to the bed and sit down a minute and chill out. Oh, perhaps you're right. I have been working awfully hard, but I don't so, know. So, how are you feeling now, Tracy? Could it be your <laughs> battery? No, you... Oh. Oh, oh, wow, oh, what happened? Oh, man, thanks. Oh, oh, brother. What happened, Casey? You were snoozing on the job. That bad battery must have pulled the switch on me. Who'd have thought that even me, Detector Casey, could be fooled by a <laughs> bad battery? Remember, Casey, you can't tell a bad battery by just looking at it. You have to test it. You're absolutely right, amigo. Thanks. Whew. Oh, much better now. Oh. All right, let's wrap this thing. Just do it. Just do it. 
I'm puzzling folk and I'm still the same, thinking up the place. Always my game, you know you can't free me, that's the law. So roll out of bed and remember to crawl, just do it. I just do it. You know who I am, man, the fire I fight. I'm always on the job when trouble's inside. So when it's near and you need me to come, know your address and call 911. Just do it. Just do it. Well, boys and girls, you've heard what to do. Test your batteries and change them too. Practice fire safety every day. The planning ahead is the only way. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I just do it. Everybody, I just do it. I just do it. I just do it. Yeah, just do it. That's right. All right. Now remember, kids, check your smoke detectors. Every week, be sure you got a fresh battery inside. Well, another case closed. Oh, yeah, kids, one more thing. Remember, stay cool. Stay cool, guys. <laughs>